Hello, good people. It's Rob Lee. I want to do a short video for you about something that's very important to me, and it should be very important to you. Many of you, including myself, you go through hard times, you struggle. It seems like life is just kicking your rear end, and it's really hard. We're under spiritual attack. We're under physical attack. Everybody's coming against us. And what I want to talk about is faith and how we apply our faith and our belief and our trust in Almighty God through Jesus Christ. So what I wanted to do was just briefly talk to you about it and then read some scriptures about it because I think it's something that we need to talk more about and we need to exercise more in these last days because they are trying days. In the scriptures, Jesus Christ talked a lot about faith and many people were healed because of their faith. And Jesus Christ talked about that. For example, the centurion who believed in Jesus Christ so much that he said, you don't have to even go in to heal my child. If you'll just say it, I'll believe it. It'll happen. And Jesus Christ said he'd never seen a, a greater faith like that in all of Israel. And there were many other people that were blinded and sick and simply because that they believed. You see, they trusted Almighty Father. They trusted Jesus Christ. I want us to read some verses here. And this is the Apostles. And I want you just to think about this. First of all, this is Peter. Now, this is Peter when he's walking on the water. And he's coming and he asked Jesus, can I come to you? And he has to walk on the water. And he said, come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and called him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore did thou doubt? In John chapter 20, we see the apostle Thomas. And this is where we get the saying, the, if you are a doubting Thomas. This is after Jesus was resurrected and he had appeared to his apostles, to his disciples. And Thomas doubted. Then saith he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. Luke chapter 17, And the apostles said unto the Lord, Increase our faith. And the Lord said, If ye had faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye might say unto this sycamine tree, Be thou plucked up by the root and be thou planted in the sea, and it should o obey you. And a mustard seed, you know how tiny, tiny. Matthew chapter 7, the gifts of our Father. And sometimes when we pray and when we believe, we start to doubt so much that I think we offend the Father, and I have gone through this myself. Everything that I usually talk to you about, I promise you, I give you my word before God, I've, I've gone through it or I am going through it. Sometimes we, we doubt our Father's mercy, His love, and what we will do, we will start to worry, pray, pray, worry, doubt, and hope, and before you know it, we've offended our Father. Matthew chapter 7, Ask, and it shall be given. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. Or what man is there of you? Whom if his son asks bread, will he give him a stone? Or who, if he has a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye, then being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more your Father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask him? That's very powerful. Therefore all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them, for this is the law and the prophets. And why did I put that in there? because we also need to practice being kind. And this is something that I know many of us struggle with, especially when you see what's going on in the world and you're under attack, it's hard to be kind, but it's what Jesus told us to do. Nothing else matters but what, what your Almighty Father told us through Jesus Christ, this is how I want you to behave. Matthew chapter 18, and my wife and I have read this often. Matthew chapter 18, Verily I say unto you, whatsoever, Ye shall bind on earth, shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever ye shall loose on earth, shall be loosed in heaven. Again I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree on earth, as touching anything, that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. Uh, 
I would like for you to read that over by, by yourself and think about what's really being said there. We have to believe, brother, and you have to believe and you have to trust, and it's hard, but you have to give 100% trust to Almighty God. Not just a little bit, not 50, but you have to give it all. And I know it's hard, especially when you're going through hard times. Hebrews chapter 11, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Think about that. Without faith, it is impossible to please your Almighty Father. For when you come to Him, you must believe that He is, and that He will reward those that diligently seek Him. James chapter 1. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Continuing in, in the same chapter, 17 of James, verse 17, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. 1 John 5.14 And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And what this is so important because it says that every, just because you pray and you believe and you give all your faith doesn't mean your prayers are always going to get answered. Because your father loves you enough that he will do what's best for you. This means that even when you're doing as right as you can do by your almighty God, if you wake up every day and you give your life to Jesus Christ, and we all should, sometimes, brethren, your prayers just ain't going to get heard because the Father has a plan for you. He has a purpose for you. And this may be hard to deal with, but again, it goes back to faith and trust. If you completely trust Almighty God, you'll know what He's always doing right by you because what? He loves you. Psalm 40, verse 1. I waited patiently for the Lord. And he inclined unto me and heard my cry. Psalm 27, 14. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. we got to be patient, folks. And we have to trust. Your father is the mountain. And in this life, always run to the mountain and seek his shelter, his love, and his protection. I would like to... In the next video, I would like to do a video about the name and the name of God. It's important. For now, I would like to us for us to really focus on this video and what it means to all of us as believers of what we're going through and think about faith and patience and our Almighty Father. Your Father loves you. He loves me. He loves us. And we must give Him the, the faith and the trust that he wants us to give him it's important we can't disrespect our father and let me it, it tell you this right now i'm guilty of it absolutely i would be a liar if i told you that i was not we must give him the faith and the respect that he deserves as an almighty creator and then we will give ourselves the best opportunity to have our father to do anything for us that he pleases and he, your Father does answer prayers. Your Father does intervene because he loves us. May the Father bless each and every one of you in the only name that saves, the only name that's important because your almighty creator gave it all to Jesus Christ. And this is the name above all names, Jesus. And Jesus is King. May the Father bless each and every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ.